Hello, my name is Sean Ogden and I'm talking about Cronarchaeota. This word is Greek for springs, and a majority of these microbes are both extremophiles and acetophiles. They are found in acidic thermal springs such as in Yellowstone. Cronarchaeota are also found in various other environments such as the ocean floor and a meter below the ocean floor. Specific marine cronarchaeota perform nitrification and play a role in the ocean nitrogen cycle. They have also recently been discovered in cold and harsh environments such as the Arctic and Antarctica. The morphology of cronarchaeota are also very interesting and unique. Many microbes contain flagella which allow that microbe to be motile. The image shows pyrodictium, which are disc-shaped cells connected by a network of fibers which may help to attach to sulfur granules. These microbes can also be many different cell shapes, including filaments, irregular discs, thin rods, and irregular cocci. The example provided is a scanning electron micrograph of Staphylothermus hellenicus, which typically forms aggregates of cocci. Lastly, many cronarchaeota have interesting membranes. The image shows, shows sulfolobus, which exhibits a unique membrane composition of ether-linked lipids and are irregular lobed cells. These microbes flourish at pH around 2 and are found in sulfur-rich environments such as the Yellowstone Hot Springs. Most cronarchaeota are obligate anaerobic. They get their energy from sulfur and carbon dioxide, which makes a majority of these microbes chemoorganotrophic and chemolithotrophic. However, some are aerobic and use a reverse Krebs cycle as their source of energy. And as previously mentioned, there are marine cronarchaeota that perform nitrification and have a role in the ocean's nitrogen cycle. All right, so for my questions for you, Firstly, what cell shapes are cronarchaeota? Are they cocci, rods, filaments, and discs, A and C, or all of the above? The second question is where are cronarchaeota located? Arctic and hot springs, Antarctica, Arctic ocean floor and hot springs, ocean floor and hot springs, or only in hot springs? I'll give you a few seconds to think of the answers. Okay, so the answer to number one is all of the above, and the answer to number two is Antarctica, Arctic, ocean floor, and hot springs. Here are my references, and thank you so much for listening.